Our next guest is a famous celebrity actor. She's an international it girl, and she has more Instagram followers than the bloody population of New Zealand. And that's a fact. Phoebe Tonkin, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? Good. Thank you for having me here. Oh, please don't thank me. Thank you. Thank you. No, we are absolutely exciting. wrapped to have you. <laughs> what's, been, what's been happening? You're just back from Bali, I hear? Just got back from a holiday in Bali with my mum. Oh, yes, it was, really it was really nice. <laughs> have you been? I have once. I went to Kuta and I love Kuta. Yeah. Um, because you, you can, you know, there's all sorts of different, you can buy clothes and you can buy bags and, and it's also cheap. It is. Are you a good haggler? I, you know, my skills at first, I felt, you know, I felt a bit shy about it, but everyone's like, that's what you do there. You haggle. <laughs> you know, it's like, they say 10 bucks for this shirt. You say, no, no, five. You know, and then you close the deal and you walk away with... <laughs> But yeah, um, it was it was really amazing. Okay, it was so really where were you? Trip. Were you in? Kuta? I was in Ubud. Ubud. Yes, Ubud. and I actually did this really cool thing. I don't know if you've ever done or anyone here's done. It's called a sound bath. Oh, sounds like my um, cup of tea. And it's yeah, it's like For a, a muso, sound bath. Yeah, yeah, yes, right. Please. So it's like a, a big temple, and you kind of you go and you lie on these mattresses, and they kind of dim the lights, and it's this quite immersive meditative experience and you basically just lie in this big temple and and all these kind of musical instruments and drums and things play and it was really amazing i think they got them in fiji i've got a funny feeling they got them in fiji they have one in i think joshua tree as well my friend's gone to it's really cool wow. well that's probably why uh, where they got youtube yeah joshua tree there you go yeah <laughs> so yeah, I did that. It was cool. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And, and and what's this? Uh, what's this dress? Who yeah. made it? Where's it from? Actually, my best friend made this dress. Um, and I was thinking when I when I was on my way here, this dress reminded me of this terrible audition um, that I had <laughs> okay. a few years ago. Um, I was. Um, this was many, many years ago when I had just moved to LA and I was going to so many auditions kind of back to back and there was one that I didn't really have time to read the entire script so I, I went to this audition and I had misread the sides, the, the kind of audition scenes and I thought it was period so I dressed in like this kind of full period dress and made my braided my hair I look like something out of you know an Austin movie or something <laughs> and um then I got the feedback the next day and they were like and my agent said you know they really liked you but you um, I'm so sorry I have what? to interrupt just quickly <laughs> you got like a piece of seaweed or spinach or something on you just on the oh my god sorry <sighs> I'm so sorry sorry <laughs> <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, usually it's the last thing. What I'll do is just before I come out on stage, I'll just have a quick look in the mirror, quick yeah. scan, make sure there's nothing in there. I just didn't Just because, do that. yeah, oh, I learned the hard way. Oh. <laughs> and now you, you have too. Sorry, I wish you had it just told me that like, before I came out. It's really embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. You're going to tell a fucking story. It's really embarrassing. Why didn't your fucking producer tell me? Well, they probably didn't see. I'm sorry, we weren't laughing at you, we are just more laughing at the situation. It's fine. It's fine. Jamie, you should have sounded a little bit more etiquette, mate, and you should have just leaned over and told her, not voice it in front of the audience, mate. Yeah, well, I understand that. Well, mate, at the end of the day, Jesus, you could have just leaned over and gone, just check, blah, blah. Yeah. But you didn't, you went, ah, oh, look, you got something in your mouth, check your mouth. When I realised what you'd said, well, Jesus, mate. Well, you, I mean, you tried doing this job, mate. She's in the middle of a story. Mate, at the end of the day. At the end of what day? What day are you talking the, about, you now, fool? At the end of now, wake up yourself because you're not really, you're not portraying a proper host, oh, mate. what would you know about portraying a oh, host? What, you don't think I've been uh, a co-host before? I know you've been a co-host. Have you tried being the host? Oh, it's not that hard, mate. It's oh, just use a bit of... Mate, you know? a bit of dot, a bit of common sense, A bit of mate. dot what? A bit of CDF, mate, common sense. Ah, oh, CDF, how does S? I'm not going to tell you because there's a lady... Well, I'm going to tell you this. You're fired. What? You're fired. No, 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 no. Ah, yeah, right. No, I've had enough of it. You're fired. Uh, Get uh, off my fucking set. No, 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 no. Get off my day. fucking set. 
I'm sorry about the, the embarrassment here, Phoebe and John. How long is it going to take for him to get off my set? Well, I mate, <laughs> sorry, ladies and gentlemen, about this, but we have a clown in front of us. Well, honk, mate, honk. Yeah, well, then stick that up, you clacker. Sit on it and do what Oliver done. Twist. Stick your job up your ass. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Will do. Yeah, up you. Get it. Sorry, out of boys. Here. And you're a great band and always will be. Well, Pelvis is gone. <laughs> and I, for one, am happy because it's just so annoying to take such constant stream of criticism from someone who's supposed to be on your team. We're all doing our best up here. I'm sorry, Phoebes. I'm sorry. I, if I could rewind it and do it, my, do it over again, I would have told you earlier. The thing is, is that I normally just check before I go out on stage. It's the last thing I do. I have a quick look in the mirror. I have a quick scan through the teeth, make sure there's nothing in there. Um, yeah. Well, I've got a gift for you. <laughs> Maybe that will lighten the mood. Um, I, what I do is I pick a, I hand pick a gift. I know you've just moved to, I won't say too much. I know you've just moved to New York. I thought this might be appropriate. So just, I think you'll like it. Honestly, you will. Thanks. Open it now. Open it, open it, open it. <laughs> it's Sex and the City, both of the movies. Oh, well, one of the movies. So it's supposed to be two, but we took the second one out because apparently it's a bit racist. So you've got the first Sex and the City film there. <laughs> 